welcome to the channel Professor Da Vinci. Arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression is a sequence in which there is a common difference between successive successive terms. For example, we can take a uh, say 13, 16, 19, 22, and 25. The difference between each term, each term is 3. Another example, let us take a 189, 78, 67, 56, and so on. Here, the difference between each term is minus 11 clear so so in short I can say that the difference is positive or if the difference is positive for increasing term and uh, negative for Decreasing term. So this is called the arithmetic progression. Okay. So mathematically we can say that mathematically we can say the arithmetic propagation is a a comma b and c or consecutive term of an arithmetic progression then we can say that the condition is that b minus a equal to c minus b alternatively we can say that a plus c equals 2b example let us take the previous example 13 what is that 13 16 19 22 13 16 19 22 so here this term is a this term is b and this term is c okay here a plus c what is a plus c 13 plus 19 a plus c considering this term a plus c equal 2 times of b that is 16 so what is uh, this one this is a uh, 232 equals 2 16 so okay yes it's true right so this is called a uh, this is the relation or mathematics has said that arithmetic progression has caused the property that a plus c equals two terms of b if a b c are the consecutive terms right then therefore so therefore this is the short form of the first three dots therefore in general in general arithmetic progression is a comma a plus b comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d comma dot 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 a is the first term first term and the d is the difference difference between the terms difference between each term okay so generally arithmetic progression can be expressed in this way now what is the difference between so you can say what is the difference difference between c 
sequence and a series. I can say that when the terms of a sequence are added together, this is called series. Example. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17 is the sequence. So if you add the terms 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus 17, this is called a series. Okay, so I hope you understood the difference between what is sequence and the what is series. Let us do one small example exercise. So, example, so example, okay. Find the sum of, find the sum of series. Oh, sorry. Find the sum of series. S equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot 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 until 50, okay. Now, how to find the sum of, we cannot add 1 plus 2 plus 3 until 50, it takes time. So, we need to find a short formula. For that, say, assume, assume that, take a small term, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, that is 4 terms, which is called as n equal to 4, okay, that is 4 terms. And uh, n equal to 4 term is number of terms, 1, 2, 3, 4 term is not this value, okay, n is 4 term. In this case, let me add this series like this, add this 1 and 4, so add 1 plus 4, okay, and then add 3 and 2, so add 2 and 3, 2 plus 3, and add 3 plus 2, I think it's the product of addition, okay. And then add 4 plus 1. So, what we will get here? This is 5. 5. Total is 5, right? So, let's see. I can put in a different term. This is total is 5, total is 5, total is 5, total is 5. How many times I am multiplying? I am multiplying 4 times because total number of terms. Term number 1, second term, third term, fourth term. So, 4 times of 5. Clear? What is 4 times of 5? It is equal to, so I think 4 times of 5, 4 terms of 5 equals to 20, right? So, what is actually, what is the value of, uh, actually what is the value of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 4, 7 and 10. The value of is 10, but what we got here? 20. That means 2 times of s equals 20, right? So, s equals 20 by 2, which equals 10. Okay? Okay, right? So, we can say that. What is 4? Generalize. Generalize the term. What is 4? 4 equals n terms, number of terms or number of I can repeat 4 is the number of terms that is n clear already we have n is 4 term then what is the 5 very simple 5 is number of terms plus 1 which implies this is n plus 1 right clear so sum of series from 1 to 4 equals n times of n plus 1 divided by 2, right? Divided by 2, divided by 2, clear? So, what we can say, suppose if we have the term, already we have term for simple, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, okay? What is the sum of values? 
10 terms. What is how many terms? 4 terms are there. 5 times, I mean, into n plus 1 divided by 2. So 20 equals 10. So you can see this one add to each other. We get 10. Now come to the previous statement. What we have? This statement is we need to find the sum of series until 50, 1 to 50. That is 1 to 50 means uh, what is n here? n equal to 50, right? So sum of series n equals n times into n plus 1 plus 1 divided by divided by 2, which is equals to 50 times of 51 divided by 2, which equals 1 to 7, 5. Okay, so this is 1 to 7, 5 the answer for for the statement that's equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 until 50. So this is the formula if anywhere given to find the sum of series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus until some term may be 500 or 600. So you can say that the formula is n equals n times n plus 1 divided by 2. How we have uh, arrived this one? You have arrived this one here. We have arrived here. Okay. So this is the sum of series. Clear? Understand? See you guys. Have a great day. Thank you.